Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to make your Facebook account completely private, and it works the same on Android phones and on the iPhone too. You could also do it on the desktop, and I'll link to a video about that as well. Let's jump into the mobile app here. Make sure you update your app too so you get all the latest updates. And press the three lines right here to come to this page, and then scroll all the way down and open up Settings and Privacy. And there is an option called Privacy Shortcut. Let's go there. Inside of here, you'll see an option. It says review a few important privacy settings. A lot of our information is gonna be over here to make this completely private. Let's go step by step. First, let's go who could see what you share. Press continue. And on this page, what you wanna do, as I've already done, is change all of these with these dropdown to say only me instead of any of these other options. Only me is completely private. So make sure your email is set to only me. Make sure your birth date is set to only me, the year as well here, and then go down the list, relationship, interested in current city, work, all of that could be set here to only me, and make sure you complete this entire list if you want everything here to be private. And on the bottom, it's gonna say friends and following. Make sure that's set to only me, so people can't even see your friends list here. And then on the bottom, it says this one, let me change that to only me, who could see the people, pages, and lists you follow. You could change that to only me here as well. If you wanna keep some of them to friends, you can, but they do all have an only me option, which is point of the video here. Once you press next, you also could change your posts and your stories too, to be only me here as well. So if you wanna change your future posts, again, this is gonna defeat the social aspect of Facebook, but the only me option is available here. But there is also past posts, right? The ones you've already posted before. Instead of going back and one by one changing them, you could limit them here, and then you could press limit on here to limit the audience they reach as well on this page. Let's go next. If you wanna make Facebook private from an individual person here, you could just add them to the block list. They won't even be able to see any of this stuff anyway. So you could add that here. Let's go press next. And that's it for this topic. Let's go to another here. So that was the first one we completed right here. Now this is related to security, so not about privacy, but you do want to go through that if you wanna make your account more secure. But how people could find you on Facebook, that's the one we're gonna go through too. Let's press continue. Here, you're gonna see pending friend request, but you could also change who could send you a friend request. By default, it's set to everyone, and the most limiting option is friends of friends. So make sure you change that to friends of friends here. On the next page here, it's gonna show phone number, but you could also change this to only me. You could also change your email to only me. So change these two here as well. Let's go next. If you wanna basically not let search engine like Google even find your Facebook, you could also turn that on. Do you want search engine outside of Facebook to link to your profile? Go ahead and turn that off. I have it off here. Blue is on and gray is off. Let's press next and that's it for that. Let's also jump into your data setting on Facebook. Let's go there and let's continue with that. There's a few things here that you wanna to change too. Let me go ahead and show you. It says apps and websites that other companies you've used Facebook to log into. You could remove basically anything you see over here that you use Facebook for logging in just to make your account more private and secure. Then press next. Do you want Facebook to be able to recognize you in photos and videos? So make sure this is turned off if you don't want that when other people post your photos and videos of you. Mine is off here, next. Now this is related to your device here, but you could always make sure that Facebook is not tracking your location in any way. So if you set that to never under your system setting, it's gonna bring me here if I open that and I could change this from always to never it is really going to limit my Facebook use here, especially for location related things. But if you do want to change that, you do have to change that on your device's setting. It's available for Android to the same kind of thing. Press next and that's it for that. And let's go back to this main area. There's one more settings. If you go to settings here and let's scroll down, there's an option for profile and tagging. Go to this option here. And if these are not turned on, make sure they're turned on. So this lets you review things that people tag you on. So instead of automatically appearing on your Facebook, you do have to review them. So people can't just post things on your Facebook. I do like to leave these turned on here. And for tagging too, you could always change this too. 
to the most limited option, which is you. So no one could even tag you if you don't want that available to anybody else. And for tagging too, you could also change this to only me here. This is this option right here. Make sure you change this to only me. So pretty much anything you see that has only me for complete, complete privacy, again, taking away the social part of Facebook, make sure you set all that here. Same thing with who can post on your profile, make sure only you could post on your profile and then that will set it to be completely private too. So change everything you see on their profile and tag into private or only me. Then come back to this page and there's a thing called active status. This is for Messenger. Make sure you turn this off so you don't appear online when you're on Messenger on Facebook or in the Messenger app. Turn this off over here to make it more private. The last thing I'll show you is related to your photos, but I do have a complete video on making all your photos private in more detail. But right now, if you go to your profile page under the menu here, and then if you scroll down, there's an option here for photos. Click on that. And here, what you could do is you could jump into any picture that you want to make completely private, press the three dots on it. And there's a privacy option over here where you could just set this to only me. Now, this is more time consuming than the other options I showed you, but that is one way to make individual pictures private too, if you don't want those to be public. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.